Hello everybody at Enchanted Emerald. This is Melissa bringing you another card poll and this is going to be for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, July 10th and 11th, 2021. And as I'm giving people, in case they want to hop on a couple of minutes to hop on, um, please help me help you and help others. If you would give me a like and a share and if you comment shared after you like and share, I will enter you into a drawing uh, for the end of the month on Wednesday, the last Wednesday of this month. I'm going to be doing a drawing for a free reading. So if you want to be entered in that, uh, please don't hesitate to do that. Also, um, if you are um, catching me on the live, don't hesitate to say hi. If you are catching me on the replay, please don't hesitate to do the hashtag replay um, down in the comment section. Um, it helps to boost me in the feed so that people can see the readings, that people that need to see that, um, that will help them on their journey. And then also um, that will help to boost you into the comment section and so that when you are, when I'm doing live readings for people, um, I'm more apt to see your comment and be able to do a reading for you. So that helps you as well. If you haven't liked the Enchanted Emerald page yet, please don't hesitate to do that as well so that you don't miss out on any fun stuff, horoscopes, crystal talk, all that good stuff, okay? So today we have, of course, the new moon in Cancer. It's likely to have you being in your feelings, guys, right? Um, but what is magical here is that we have a lot of things coming up to the surface. It is a little uncomfortable. You know, Cancer is a water sign. There's a lot of feelings, emotions, um, and it likely is coming so that we can release it. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable right now, but the magic here is that over the next six months, we have the potential to really stand in our power and embrace a lot of new energy, positive new beginnings, a lot of really cool stuff, okay? So just bear with it and um, really, really cool stuff will happen. So um, we have here out of the traditional Rider Waite deck, the Magician card. And with this card, I really feel a lot of um, amazing power behind this, right? We have the ability to create the life that we want to live. And I feel here it's very commanding in attention, right? So there's some things that are happening um, within you and around you that like you just can't ignore right now anymore, okay? Um, the bottom of the deck here, that's that internal conflict, possible external conflict, right? Five of Wands, very, very much so. Um, but what is important here is that you uh, remain neutral, right? This is the advice here, is that we remain neutral throughout all of this. We don't wanna feed the fears, right? And um, what I get with this is, I don't know if you guys remember that commercial where the owl stands on the tree branch and he has one of those like Tootsie Pops and he's like, how many, how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? And he's like, one, two, three, and then he bites the thing. Um, but like, for me, it's like, when I think of that, it's like this hard outer shell that we have created for ourselves. And then this like soft gooey center, that's where the good stuff is. And that's where we have this like peace and love and vulnerability and all of that at our core, but we've created this external shell to kind of like protect ourselves, right? But like, when I think of like, how many licks does it take to get to the center of that Tootsie Pop? How many, how many things are gonna have to happen to you before you decide um, enough is enough and you're gonna in stand in your power and embrace that. And so that's, your, I feel like we're all just getting worn down, right? And so um, at the core of you, you are uh, very divine in your being. Hi Roxanne, thanks for hopping on. Um, so we're divine in that gooey center, right? And hi Amy, thanks for watching. Um, so what does it mean to be divine to you? What does that mean? I, I think that that means something different probably for everybody, but to me, being divine is um, standing in our truth, being authentic to ourselves, setting boundaries when we need to, honoring our feelings, right? There's a whole slew of things that means to be divine because this all helps us to embrace our magic. Okay, this magic that we have within us. And so I'm gonna go and talk to you a little bit about that today. So 
think about throughout this conversation, like where you think you might be giving your power away as we move through this, because this is really what I'm feeling with this energy is we have these internal conflicts with the five of wands where we feel that uncomfortable feeling brewing up inside of us. And then to avoid that, we stuff that feeling down and we continue on our same path, right? This is not going to be okay anymore. We're not going to be able to do that. We're not, we can't continue down that same path. Um, the energy right now is not supporting that. We have to make changes. Okay. So how are we going to do those things? So where, um, I feel like that hard outer shell of that Tootsie Pop that we created those layers to protect ourselves, that's um, a whole slew of things, right? It could be all of these unhealthy coping mechanisms, the one that, that really stood out to me most through connecting with Spirit for this reading today was isolating. I feel um, a lot of people could be isolating right now. I feel like that could be out of fear um, it could be out of not wanting to be open with other people and exposing that ooey gooey center, that vulnerability. Hi, Madison. Thanks for watching. Um, where when we are vulnerable with other people, it leaves us open to possibly get hurt feelings, right? So it's a layer of protection, that hard outer shell, right? But I feel like, um, I mean, and that could be other coping mechanisms that go with that as well. But I feel like when you isolate, you not only close yourself off to a really amazing connection with someone, anyone, but also with yourself, right? Are you denying yourself this beautiful joy of a connection, right? You're cutting yourself off from joy as well. Um, but I feel like it's somewhere along the way, someone has felt like this is something that they had to do because maybe in the past they felt stranded by somebody. And what I see with that is like somebody being like, stranded on the side of the road with a car maybe this is literal this could be just figurative right where they're like on the side of the road with a car and then they're like leaning on this broken car like yeah this car really gives me some support here and so they're just literally leaning on a broken car but like what does that broken car do for you it doesn't do anything for you but there's someone leaning on it like it's it's really you know doing them some good i mean hey maybe it's um you know giving them some protection of some sort uh, from, you know, you can jump in the car that's broken down when it's raining. It can give you some protection from, you know, that maybe, but it really isn't doing anything for you. You need to be able to fix that car and get back on the road because you need to be on the path to happiness. And so uh, that's really what I'm feeling with that, right? It, it does offer you some support, I guess, in that, but, um, we have to be able to stand in our own power to be able to decide that, okay, I'm going to fix this car so I can get in it now and drive and find something that's worthy of my time and effort and energy and gives back to me, right? And so, again, like I said, what we've been doing all up until now is just not going to work anymore and if you continue down that same path it's going to become really uncomfortable okay um so today we want to work with some of these energies because you have that power you have all the tools you have everything that you need to get you where you want to go and to create this beautiful life that you want do you believe it i mean these are some of these things that you have to um decide for yourself do you believe that you can get there do you um, feel that, you know, maybe you're not putting the tools together successfully. Maybe you're just like, I don't know how to put them all together to create that. And so maybe there's, um, a timeout that you need to take to really figure things out. And I think when you take a step back from situations, you do get a, a whole new perspective on things, right? Because you do have the, the ability to, um, stand in your worth and your power and to create all of those things. So maybe you do need to take that time out. So tapping into our chakras, uh, what we need to do is we need to work with our solar plexus, which is right in the center of our stomach, and also with our root chakra, which is at the base of our spine, okay? So solar plexus is yellow, and that's right in the center, and then the root is represented by red, and that's at the base of the spine. And what it is about with this is um, 
that it's safe to express who you are and knowing that you're more powerful than you think you are. This is really at the core of all of this. So, um, and then considering what it is that you want to create and ask yourself, like, what is it that I would do if I could do anything in the world? Like, what is it that I would do and what's stopping you from getting there? Those are the questions you have to ask yourself, right? And so we have to deal with these internal conflicts and external conflicts. We have to clear them and then we have to replace that with some really amazing energy in order to embrace that magic to move forward and manifest this beautiful space, this beautiful life, right? And so how can we better do that? And um, with the solar plexus, the root chakra, all of that, I pulled some cards because I felt compelled to. I actually was only looking for one card and several cards came out. Um, but it came out of the sacred self-care deck, this one. Um, it's my other self-care deck. I usually don't use this deck that often, but uh, because a lot of them came out, I just honored that because what works for some is going to be different for other people as well. Um, so I'm going to just bring them all forward and we're going to just talk a little bit about them. So um, first and foremost, clear your energy field. Clear your energy field, whatever that looks like for you, whether you um, do self-reiki, whether you uh, use sage, burn sage, whether um, you are like actually cleaning your space, right? Cleaning your space can help you to clear your energy, right? It clears your mind. And um, when you move things around in your space, you invite new amazing energy in for yourself. So all of those things can really, really help, okay? Um, whether you uh, use a diffuser and put some Palo Santo in your diffuser, that can help to cleanse energy in your space as well. Um, whether you have like an aura spray and you just spray that, whatever works for you there, okay? Um, that will also to help you just feel a little bit lighter as you work through some of this stuff. Cause a lot of this like inner child stuff, trauma, that stuff's gonna be surfacing with this new moon in cancer. It's gonna be intense guys. Um, I'm not sure if y'all are feeling it, but like for me, like I went through an intense purge. Um, I thought I was done purging, right? Like, but this, this shadow work, man, that's no joke um, for all of us. We're, nobody is an exception. So, what else can we do? We can connect with crystals, right? We can connect with crystals. These are beautiful cards. I really like these cards. For those that uh, feel inclined to connect with crystals, with the solar plexus, you're gonna look for like a yellow crystal. I like to use calcite, um, citrine. I love citrine. It brings in abundance, just a beautiful energy with that one. Uh, but these overall, you know, crystals, they attract energy. They can repel energy depending on what crystal you're working with. Um, it, it can absorb energy. Um, and, and they're just amazing because overall they just really raise the vibe. Whether you just have them in a dish in your room, whether you carry them with you, some women put them in her bra. Um, so yeah, just working with the crystals can help. Uh, so root chakra crystals would be like your hematite that would be very grounding. Um, you can use the black tourmaline can help to um, ward off negative energy, right? And all of that. So um, red jasper, I like to use red jasper for my root chakra as well. So, okay, then we have make a meal. Make a meal can help us too. Make a meal. Now with this one, Choosing high vibrational foods, healthy food options can help us to raise our vibe and to feel good and help us get through this rough energy. Um, so whether you're choosing like fresh vegetables and fruits and things like that, and if you go um, for the organic, that's, you know, whatever you choose, that's that's up to you. Um, or if this, with this one as well, you can um, think about, because you're nourishing your body with love as well. So make a meal. This could be um, using like your grandmother's recipe, like I used to, I like to use my grandma's recipe. I can tomatoes, so I, I do macaroni and tomatoes when I need a soul food day. Um, and so that's what I like to do. Um, I know that that's not the healthiest, highest vibe fruits and vegetables, right? I can have a salad with it. Um, but with that, that helps me to nourish me, right? Maybe you're gonna cook a meal for your family. Maybe you're gonna use your mom's recipe and you're gonna put all of this love and energy and intention. You're gonna invite your whole family over, um, whatever that looks like for you. 
Madison says she carries her chakra stone every day. Good, yes, and it helps. I really, I mean, for me, I carry my crystals every day too, and they really, really do help. Singing. This is another one. Now, I know a lot of people, they get a little bit shy with the singing. Um, they're kind of like, uh, I don't want anybody to hear me singing. Maybe they'll sing alone in their car, whether they, you know, whatever that looks like. If you have to just go for a drive by yourself so you can sing, this really, really, really raises our vibe. Music is such a beautiful way to connect. And um, it's also a way to let us know that we're not alone. We're not going through things alone. And other people have been through the same thing. If you're listening to the lyrics of a song, this is so powerful. And so you can get in your feelings. It helps us to release our feelings, sing it out. You can listen to happy tunes after if you have to get some emotions out and then listen to some happy stuff after. That will really help you to raise your vibe, okay? Um, so it, it's a way of expressing ourselves um, and be mindful about how you feel. Kind of tap into and notice how you're feeling. Um, if you are feeling shy, is that because you're not expressing yourself? You might want to use like a blue kyanite or a different crystal to uh, help you with your throat chakra so you're expressing yourself because it's important to be able to express yourself. Whether you're, And that will carry over into how you express yourself within your relationships, how you express yourself in your day to day because it's important for us to um, be able to set boundaries when we need to and things like that. So, and then last but not least, we have the positive affirmations. Hi, Brandon. Um, so the positive affirmations, this is really, really beautiful. And I chose to close with this because this is so powerful in um, allowing us to replace the energy that we release with really, really beautiful statements, with what we need to choose to um, reprogram our subconscious with, okay? So whether you're saying, I am powerful, I am worthy, I am beautiful, and there's different affirmations for different chakras, choosing um, based on that. You can Google them, whatever you need, whatever you feel called to use. I would say just really follow your intuition with that. Um, and, and this is, you know, grateful. I'm grateful. Extending gratitude is a power game right there. That's a power. That's a power move because it really, really raises our vibe and changes the way we manifest um, and allows us to be present, I think, a little bit better. So, you know, with the positive affirmations, it allows us to um, practice speaking kindly to ourselves. We can practice speaking kindly to other people. And with that, we become more available to ourselves and to others and our feelings. We're noticing more about our feelings. And that is how we're going to spread our light. That's how we are going to embrace our truth. And that is going to open you up to a whole different level of magical living right there. So that that's one of the keys that I feel is so powerful. So really, really beautiful read here for us for this weekend. I do so hope that this helps you in some way, shape, or form as we move through this energy with this new moon in Cancer and I'm ready to claim this beautiful uh, positive new beginning new things coming over the next six months as a result of this I'm not sure about you guys but I am saying that I claim it so I, I am definitely there so if you're looking for a little bit of extra guidance if things are just a little rough and you want to just clear um, some things that have been coming up and you're looking for a healing session I am definitely available for healing sessions as well and um, don't hesitate to hit me up in the messenger or enchantedemeraldny at gmail.com for that. Or if you're looking for your own personal reading because you're just um, feeling like you need a little bit of guidance and some some answers you're searching for, um, I would be uh, available to do that as well. So um, again, I'll be back with another read for everybody again soon. And I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend. Thank you so much. Take care.